You know anything about this uh, Muammar Gaddafi? Uh, here's a, uh, quite a guy. I mean, he's, I don't even know what to say. Remember, he came to town a couple of years ago for the opening of the UN, and he th pitched his tent in Donald Trump's backyard. Do you remember that? <laughs> Yes, that's right. Well, this guy is crazy, and it says that he is uh, constantly uh, surrounded by barbed wire, and members of his inner circle refer to him as Papa. <laughs> you ever read a news story that sometimes hits just a little too close to home? <laughs> just a little, oh. just a little too close. True story. His favorite meal: camel and spaghetti. Spaghetti and camel meat. As a matter of fact, I turned on Rachel Ray this morning. There he was, stuffing a hump into a grinder. Okay. Spaghetti and camel meat. Oh, my. There it is. Mmm, mmm, good. Chic Boyardee. By the way, I don't want to embarrass him. He's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, make him feel at home. How about a nice hand for Momar Gaddafi right up there? Hey, Momar. You like new colognes? <laughs> That's the weakest segue in the history of. Hey, do you like new cologne? You can now buy, and by the way, this is why the rest of the world hates us. You can buy cologne that is bacon scented. This afternoon, reading through the jokes, there were 50 jokes on this topic, all of which ended with Kirstie Alley. <laughs> By the way, did you see the Dancing with Stars where uh, the guy dropped her? And, and she, she hit the floor? How many of you felt that? Uh... Well, they've uh, dug up, I don't know where this took place, uh, the, what they believe, archaeologists believe they've dug up the remains of the first gay caveman. <laughs> first gay caveman. They, really? They found him in the second row at a Bette Midler concert. Oh. <laughs> That's right, it's true. They... Uh, they classify him as a hunter decorator. Hunter <laughs> decorator. Uh, hunter decorator. <laughs> and, he was, and they think they think that what they have there is about five thousand years old. Five thousand years old. Here's a picture right there. Take a look. There. It's, uh, You know what's, uh, what's uh, great about this country and then also uh, uh, just a waste of time is uh, anybody really can run for president. And, you know, that's great, I guess. But Donald Trump is, for, again, we, we, go through this, we go through this every four years where Donald Trump pretends he's running for president. Well, he's, he's not running for anything. He just likes the attention. And, and now he's focusing on uh, Barack Obama. And he's jumped on this bandwagon about two years too late. He says, all right, well, let's see the guy's birth certificate. You know... Like, like he's been pulled over for speeding. Like, okay, N need your license and registration, please, Mr. President. So, so now uh, uh, Donald Trump is screaming and yelling about uh, Barack Obama's birth certificate. I say, Donald, Donald, what about the birth certificate for that thing on your head? Yeah, that's, I mean, come on, what are we... On this date in 1912, you know what happened? You have any idea what happened? Take a guess, Paul, no, what do you think I happened? I don't know. Well, it's right there on the card. Oh. <laughs> oh, the Titanic, Titanic and an yeah. iceberg. Yeah. That's right. That's what it was. <laughs> this is not exactly Jeopardy. Well, it's all I was, it's all right here. I was acting. <laughs> yeah. I was acting. Yep, the uh, Titanic uh, hit an iceberg, and uh, thank God we'll never see a disaster like that again, and also we'll never see an iceberg again. But that's a <laughs> different story. Yeah. Listen to this. 1,500 people went down. That day, 1,500 people went, and, and that record would later be broken by Bill Clinton. <laughs>